Weekend, we'll move our clocks forward an hour and spring into spring with daylight saving time. Once again, some people are questioning its benefits. Joe McLean reports from Jefferson City on legislative efforts to end the practice altogether. So I'm so used to it. I'm just, you know, I kind of change things around my house based on that. So I would be fine either way. Some Missourians don't really care how daylight saving time changes end. They just want to stop readjusting their clocks twice a year. But many have a specific preference, like Tammy Miller. I would prefer to have the extra daylight at night. At night? Okay, yes. why, why is that? Just Because when you get off work at 5 and it's dark, you just want to go home and sit and not do anything. And she's not alone. St. Louis University and YouGov recently polled nearly 900 likely Missouri voters on which they prefer. 47% said they want to stay on daylight saving time, providing more daylight in the winter evenings. 31% said they want to stay on standard time, which would bring earlier sunrises in the summer. Just 16% said they actually want to keep changing the clock each year, and 6% said they just weren't sure. JP lives in Arizona, which, besides Hawaii, is the only state which keeps its clocks on permanent standard time year-round and has since 1968. We love it. We love it. We don't even notice the time change until we suddenly have a Zoom call that's an hour later or an hour earlier. P leads Save Standard Time, a nonprofit group aimed at keeping the clocks on standard time. The group claims it's the scientifically better option. Permanent standard time lets us sleep longer uh, and better in the winter um, and all year if, if we can make it permanent. Whereas daylight saving time is designed to wake us up early. Also, because of the Uniform Time Act of 1966, states are federally pre-approved to make standard time permanent, while going the other way would be a much bigger legal hurdle to clear. Three Missouri bills have been heard in various committees to end the time change, but right now, none are currently scheduled for more action. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.